there is nothing better than using a sun cream. Like there is, if you use one, like one, one person uses sun cream and one person uses all the other things combined, a person using the one sun cream will have a greater overall protective effect than all of the others put together. What kind of steps can we take to to maintain the health of our skin and, and to sort of mitigate you know the, the damage that's being caused? So again, to chuck in another cliche, uh, actually, and I, I genuinely like this, you'll genuinely find that the dermatology community do do stick by this. Eating well and sleeping well will do wonders for your skin, and I think you know, get trying to get that sort of you know that golden eight hours if you can fantastic you know and <laughs> drinking water not binging on you know rubbish and things you know if you've got kids like i do i've got two kids there's no way i'm going to get eight hours it's just not going to happen yeah. um but if you can do it will you will you will you know infinitely benefit benefit your skin <clears throat> i mean there are you know if, even if that you can or can't do that the, the next step really are, are topicals and I think this is probably like, you know, it's the mainstay of what I do day to day is which topicals, uh, how do you use them? When do you use them? Which ones are the best ones? That sort of thing. So um, I'd probably say that the next step to my the next part to my answer would be would be the topical agents. And there's a lot that can be gained about that. Um, but again, it depends on, on your skin type and, and what you're looking for. Yeah, so it's not necessarily a one size fits all type. I mean, apart from maybe with certain things, though, right? I'm guessing like protecting your skin from the sun, for example. Everybody should probably be doing that uh, at least to an, you know one extent or another. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, actually, Johnny, that is your spot on. I'm glad you said that because <laughs> this is something that is um, is actually neglected hugely. So you know, if someone said to me, <clears throat> you know, what what should I use on my skin? I, I'm using serums, I'm using vitamin C, I'm putting on acids, I'm uh, using this toner and this booster and this exfoliant and that sort of stuff. And it's like, great, fine. They help, but only a little bit. And yeah. yes, you can have a beautiful regimen and you can be doing this and this and this, this you're doing in the morning, this thing you're doing in the evening and that sort of thing. There is nothing better than using a sun cream. Like there is, if you use one, like one upon person uses sun cream, and one person uses all the other things combined, a person using the one sun cream will have a greater overall protective effect than all of the others put together. So, wow. so it's that we're in a very, that. yeah, yeah. By, by an absolute long way. And there's some fantastic papers out there, some great, very striking images of what the sun does to you. And if you're interested, I'm sure on Google, you probably just have to type in truck driver half face sun or something like that. And you can see a man, I think he's an American chap, who the sun would always hit one side of his face whilst driving his truck. And half of his face is all sagged and it's all age ridden and, and wrinkled. And he looks like a 70 year old man. On the other side, it's at least 20 years younger. No other topical state things will have as great a benefit as sun cream. And we live in a great era now where because people are way more aware, uh, and a lot of the company, companies out there are, have cottoned on to, to the requirements. Is now you can buy, you know, foundation with, you know, if you wear makeup, so for example, with SPF in it. There are loads of different types of, of, of um, sun creams um, that contain SPF, and I'll come on to another thing called UVA rating. Um, so the products are there. But if you can, if I could do one thing, one thing, wear sun cream, even even in the winter, not ninety percent. Even yeah. in the UK, in the winter. Even right. in the winter. 90% of UV rays, and there are the two, there are two main types to worry about, UVA and UVB, 90% go through clouds. So even in the winter, right. yeah, sure, we're further away from the sun, um, that they, they use still, even when it's raining, you can still get hit by UV rays. <clears throat> wow. I think a lot of people, you know, myself included, would, would be, you know, wear sun cream in the summer. And then yeah. for about seven months of the year, don't bother at all. So yeah. that's, that's a really Ooh. useful thing to... And in terms of, so you mentioned that they're products that contain, you know, SPF in them that, that may not be sort of straight SPF, you know, like foundation, you just said, what, what should we be looking for in terms of the, the cream, you know, say if I were to, to get one, what, you know, what, what are we looking for in terms of like, people talk about the number and, and how, yeah. you know, how that kind of thing, what, what, what should we be looking for? So it's very common for people to use SPF. Uh, synonymously with sun cream. 
but SPF is only for UVB. And if you if you want to sort of go into you know uh, an easy way to remember it, UVA A for aging, UVB B for burning. So you do need to cover both both ends of the spectrum, UVA and UVB. So a lot of the time, people just go go. I'm just going to get an SPF. 20 spf 30 but you're only you're only really doing a tiny bit and that that number basically means how much time you can stay longer in the sun than if you weren't wearing it so spf 50 means right. i can stay out in the sun longer than well, 50 50 times longer but that doesn't mean that oh that's 50 i can just stay all day in, in an spf 50 no you do need to regularly top it up but that's only uvb so what you also need is uva and uva is a it's a five star rating and it's again, it's often neglected, uh, but actually that is really arguably one of the most important ones. So there are two really great brands or two examples that I would give to anyone who's listening. One is La Roche-Posay's uh, Anthelios range. And uh, another one is called Altruist. And uh, La Roche-Posay, you might have heard of, it's quite a big, um, big brand, sort of L'Oreal and Vichy kind of run by the same names or interchangeably. And that's very good if you do a lot of running because it's very it's not very viscous. So you can put it on, go for a run, go for a cycle and it, and it will stay. <clears throat> um, Altruist is a um, a brand which at the moment is really only available on Amazon.co.uk. Um, but it's it was created by a consultant dermatology team as a oh, normal wow. profit. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. it's very, those two are very, very good at covering both ends of the spectrum, UVA and UVB. And you really want to have a five-star UVA and you really want to have an SPF 50 uh, UVB. It sounds like a lot, but that is what pretty much everyone will recommend from a dermatology point of view. And as much protection as you can get from the sun, the better. So what, why and risk that's... it? And you still, you still tan yeah. through it. If you're, if you're, if you're someone who wants to have a tan, uh, you know, as a as a modern day vampire, you know, I, I work in a room with no, 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 uh, no windows. Uh, I I don't sit out in the sun. Um, but if you want to have a tan, um, it, you will tan still through it. So you don't have to worry from that point of view either. Just be safe.